So those are pretty basic ones, so I'm not surprised if you're not going to use them because they're too basic. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to the plugins. So the first one that we have, I'm just going to undo all the effects like that. So, this, so the first plugin that we're going to use is going to be the LUT filter. So we're going to go to the video effects tab. <laughs> What's going on guys, my name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 15 tutorial. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to add some epic film effects onto your video. So if you guys are excited for this video, make sure to smash the like button down below. And I would say, let's get started. Okay guys, and before this video starts, I want to quickly tell you guys that if you want to have a shout out in my next video, make sure to get yourself a pro membership. It is only $49 a year or $4 a month if you want to see it that way. And once you go ahead and click on the link in the description, they will take you to the page. And if you take a pro membership, I can see who signs on up and I will give you a shout out in my next video with your channel on screen for some more exposures. So make sure to check out the description. Okay guys, with that being said, I would say let's get started. Okay, so what we have in front of us today here is a stock footage clip of a beach. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna apply some awesome film effects. So first we're gonna start off with the effects you don't need to play plugins for and then we're gonna move on to effects that you need plugins for so we're gonna start off with the, with the ones that come with Vegas Pro is we if we go ahead and click on video effects if you go to color corrector you have many different as you can see presets so what you can do is for example to add a nice film effect we can add some red midtones over it and as you can see right now the preview screen changes and that means that you will see what it will look like so this is basically the first preset and we have many different you know presets to choose from we have like a nice blue one uh, right here we have some awesome uh, red highlights and everything like that so those are really awesome but you can also go ahead and mess around with the color corrector secondary we have many different presets to choose from so if you go ahead and actually uh, you know apply that onto our clip what we can do is we can click on custom and right here you can actually like drag in the colors that that you want for example like pink or purple or blue or you know a green or yellow or anything like that so that's a really really cool feature so those are pretty basic ones so I'm not surprised if you're not going to use them because they're too basic so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go to the plugins so the first one that we have I'm just gonna undo all the effects so the first plugin that we're gonna use is going to be the LUT filter so we're gonna go to the video effects tab and scroll down uh, until we see the L right here it says LUT filter what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag the default guy on on top of the clip and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on browse for the file and then we're gonna we can we have different files to choose from okay guys so as you can see right now we have many different as you can see filters that we can choose so if you pick flx cinematic lot 1.q if you go ahead and double click on it we're gonna wait until it's going to load and as you can see right now this is a, like an awesome effect that you guys can use for your videos and if you want if you guys want to know how to install these lot filters because it's an external plugin you need to install them i'm just going to show you guys a little clip of it so we're going to click on download and you need winrar or winzip to be able to extract it so once it is finished we're going to save this and we're going to open it up okay so once we opened up this uh, folder what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and select everything that's in there we're gonna extract this to anywhere on our computer it can be our desktop it could it can be images videos documents music doesn't really matter as long as we have those installed and you know extracted onto our computer so once that is done we're gonna make sure that we will restart Vegas or you do want to just install these files from the zip file while Vegas is closed so once we have booted it up again as you can see when we go to the video effects tab if you scroll all the way down until we see the L and right here as you can see it says LUT filter so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag in a clip from a video that can use some LUT effects all right guys so as you can see right now this is a clip of uh, yesterday's Alex thoughts episode what we're gonna do is we're not gonna apply any effects what we're gonna do the only thing is drag on the default one of the LUT filter so we're gonna drag it on top of the clip and I'm gonna drag the window out of the way so you guys can actually see the difference you know to the clip now as you can see right now it says name it doesn't really matter we can also drag in uh, the file that we just installed as you can see so that's it basically for the LUT we have many different other files that we can just go ahead and select. I'm gonna do that real quick. 
Right here we have another one, for example, LUT4. If you go ahead and double click on it, it's gonna load into the actual screen. And as you can see, this is a really, really nice filter that you guys can use onto, onto your videos. Okay, and the second and the last one is basically, you need the preset manager for this in order to install them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the uh, effects button right here. It says plugin chain. And as you can see right here, we have all kinds of different presets. We have turquoise glare with letterbox, purple glare with letterbox, green glare with letterbox, After Effects Color 3 Childhood, After Effects Color 4 1979. So if you go ahead and click on Turquoise with letterbox and we're gonna click on add and we're gonna click on okay. As you can see, this is basically what it looks like. It's gonna add some cinematic, you know, bars and filters and everything like that. So this is basically how you actually apply awesome film effects onto your videos. And if you wanna see how to install those external plugins, here's a little snip of it right here. And as you can see right now, we are on a web Website that is called Software Informer. Now, I want to mention that uh, usually you would get anything Sony Vegas related, it's like a preset manager, uh, the installer, the manual. Uh, the terms of service anything should be available on the website but as you guys know it is not sony vegas it's more it is just magic's vegas pro 14 so we're not going to go to the magic's website but we need the sony preset manager in order to do this so as you can see right now i'm on the website i'll also link in the description and we're going to go ahead and at the bottom we're going to make sure that we will click the right button because if you if you click right here you're probably going to install something else so as you can see right now it says uh, updated last on 26th of may the preset manager we're going to click on this green download button then we're going to download it and then i'm going to show you guys exactly how it's done so we're just going to download click on the download automatic download is starting as you can see and then we're going to just go ahead and install the preset manager before we can actually install plugins it's pretty straightforward and the link will be in the description so as you can see right now at the bottom uh the installer is downloading so i'm going to just wait until this finished downloading and i'll catch you guys when this is done 12 seconds later all right guys so as you can see the it, it just finished uh downloading so right now we're going to just click on it and we're going to install right as you can see uh the sony preset manager it's going to be pretty straightforward as you can see uh we you also need dotnet framework at least version 3.5 in order to do this uh so if you already have this you can just skip it if you don't have it make sure to download it first i'm just going to skip it because i already have it and as you can see right now it says welcome to the preset manager 2.0k software installation wizard i'm just going to click on next when agreed to uh the terms of service everything like that we're going to click on next uh, you can choose if you want to have install a uh, shortcut on the desktop. I'm just going to skip that. I'm just going to click on install. Right now it is installing. As you can see right now, it's going to be pretty quick depending on like how fast your computer is. It already finished. And as you can see right now, we have the preset manager. If I click on my uh, Windows key, if I type in uh, preset manager, as you can see right now, there is the preset manager 2.0. Now, in order to actually install plugins, right now we just uh, completed all the steps we need to do. So we're going to go back to YouTube for a second. Then we're going to type in or search for a preset that you like. I'm just going to type in Sony Vegas Color Correction Pack. I'm going to click that one. Then, as you can see, we have well, there's my third tutorial popping up. That's really cool to see. We're going to pick the second one, and right here we are going to go to the description and we're going to find the download link. As you can see right now, we have. Uh, the preset manager is the first download preset manager in this tutorial on YouTube They already say they also say you know the, the preset manager is a must then as you can see right now You can download the pack right here. It's media fire I'll include this one in the description as well because it has some really awesome uh, Presets so as you can see we're on media fire. I'm just going to uh, wait it's because it says preparing the downloads I'm click on the download button obviously and right now as you can see the preset pack is downloading it finished downloading we're gonna open this up in the folder. And as you can see right now, right here, it says preset pack. Right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna extract it here. And then what we're gonna do is uh, open this up with the preset manager. Now, as you can see, we have this gray icon so that it's unpacked. So I'm gonna press on my Windows key. I'm gonna just open up the preset manager 2.0. And then this box is popping up. Now, how this works is pretty straightforward. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click on file. We're gonna click on open. And right now we're gonna look for uh, the Pro, the preset um, 
file that we just uh, downloaded. It is in my images preset pack. We're going to double click on it. Then as you can see, it pops up in the list. We're going to double click. We're going to double click on effect chains. And right here are all the effects included in the color correction preset pack. Uh, you can do this with any kind of uh, plugin you, you want to install on Vegas. Then we're going to select them all. As you can see, and we're going to click on this little small that says a uh, small icon that says copy to system. If we click on here, as you can see right now, it is copy to Vegas Pro 14. So I'm going to shut down Vegas. I'm just going to just close it. And then I'm going to just reopen Vegas Pro 14. And I'll show you guys exactly that all the presets are in Vegas. So that's basically how to install the plugins. And once you've done that, you can just go back to the effects chain and that is how you do it, guys. You can choose from many different presets, for example, childhood. We're gonna click on add, click on okay. And as you can see, this looks really, really nice. And if you go and undo this, and if we're gonna pick the preset 1979, if we click on add, click on okay, it's really gonna simulate that it's going to be a really old clip. And that's the amazing thing about film effects. So guys, that's it for this episode. I wanna thank you guys for watching. And like I've said at the beginning of this video, if you wanna have a shout out in my next video, make sure to go ahead and check out the description Get yourself a pro membership. I can see who signs up and I will give you a shout out with your name and channel on screen. So guys, that's it. And I will see you guys obviously in a brand new video tomorrow on the channel. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow.